Yeah, I think that's recording now. Yay! And we're back! Sorry, uh, my phone decided that I needed to, uh, get better location stuff. Anyway, whose turn was it? That one's up to me, so I just cooked two yeah. creatures and... So it's your turn. Alright, while you're tanking them, I guess I'll pull out my crossbow. <coughs> and I'm gonna have to duck now. And, uh, okay, where are you standing? Right in front of... Right here, Bish? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna... Just straight. So right from somewhere around here, I'm probably gonna shoot this kobold right here. With the crossbow. So I'm gonna load up a bolt. And... Uh, I don't like the way that miss. is angling. Oh. That's a seven to hit. I think that misses. Yeah. Shut the dirt. How dare you kill the dirt? Mm. Well, that was my turn. Goblin's turn. Goblin is... You're right in front of it. Mm -hmm. So, Goblin is gonna take a swing. Yep. Oh, how? Um... Yep. <laughs> eight points of damage. Yep. Oh, eight, not seventy-eight. Oh. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> uh, great. Uh -huh. God. <laughs> uh, oh, Goblin's turn. Uh, Null's turn. Null is... very angry. And is... Understandably. And things to just get cooked. Yeah, if the uh, Noel is going to um, come around the bonfire and try to bite. I'm gonna try that again. Because that's a no. Um, clearly, no miss. Yeah. Um, that's a plus four. Do 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 no, but look, it's the kobold's turn. And one's going to start flying. It is a weaned kobold. And it is ah. going to fly over the fire and over the Azar. Sure, there's a helm tour. Well, it's a weaned kobold. No, I don't these kobolds have disadvantage on attacks. One, so like. Yeah. 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 Alright. I, the way I drew it like that, it, I was just like drawing bushes off the side. I'm assuming it's like it's overgrown enough that the trees are covering the path, so not complete sunlight. I just still have pack tactics though, so I will have advantage. So either way, it's a normal attack. Yeah. Um. The cold's gonna I'm gonna fly up one and. Like five and then go in. Oh no, because then it's gonna hit you. So it's gonna fly ten and gonna fly at the. Well, if it flies five feet up, it'll enter like melee with you. So it's gonna fly ten feet up and fly over you. And. It's gonna get as close to the party as possible. Like, I'm gonna try and like mark where it's at. It's this one, and it's gonna fly up and go uh, about here ish. Alright, and I'll probably be standing like over here ish by the yeah. E in area. Yeah, that's where we entered the thing. Um, and this one's gonna just dart in that direction. Yes. Do I get opportunity to attack or is it going around oh. me? 
You know what? We can use these. So they're numbered. Uh, you do get auto grenade attack wounds. I'm not worried about that right now. <laughs> oh, that's an attack with a. Uh... By the way. Yeah, I only have one hemp left. Oh, God. You smush him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's head just. <laughs> um, so we don't have to mark that one on the map. <laughs> it's head crumbled in. Yeah. Um, turn. I get to do things. Yay. Uh, you already did things. You get to do more things. Uh, I have a 10 foot wreath on my glaive. But I'm not aiming up. So I'm gonna uh, sprint over to where the uh, knoll is. And I'm gonna hit it with my foot. That actually hit. Um, uh, 7 points of damage. Yay! It is now at 11. Top of the round. So how many creatures are directly in front of me now? Um, there's the goblin, the gnoll, and me. <laughs> I was gonna say even if you didn't have Dragoon, if you didn't use the spell slide, I'm resistant to fire. Resistant doesn't mean you're immune to. Yeah, but so I would take half. Half uh, half. Yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. So it would have been quartered. Uh let's do an orange blast. Disadvantage because everything's right next to me. So that gobble got smushed. This one's flying directly at me, I yes. guess, since I'm the only one still here. Does, does it look like it's aiming at me directly, or the person just ran past? It was just going heading over to the party. Okay. And as you look, you notice it's got like a rock in its hands. Oh, it's about trying to drop a rock on someone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna step. Uh. I'm gonna step around over and mark myself with one of these. I'm gonna step around over somewhere around here ish. Uh, reload my crossbow and firebolt at that winged one. Okay. That one winged angel? Yeah, that's a uh, 19 to hit. That hits. For uh, 5 piercing. And you watch as. The kobold suddenly dives into the ground and lays there unmoving. You only have three dives. Uh, dives cool. to a girl roll and twitches once and it's dead. <laughs> yeah. That being said, it's now goblin strong. Seems it's real fast. Because we don't have any kobolds out on the field anymore. Marking with my D4, I'm right here. Mm. Cool! For anyone who can't see what just happened, it missed the table. Uh, and the goblin misses you. Yeah. It was a two. <laughs> yeah. um, and now it's the gnoll's turn. And the gnoll actually hits. How? So one d four. And I take six points of damage.
My turn. I'm pissed that the knoll just hit me, and I'm gonna hit it back with my glaive again. That's gonna do nine damage to it. Ten. Which leaves it at two health. And now uh, let's toggle around. That's a two. <laughs> right there. <laughs> it would have been like right there. Uh, your turn. My turn. Yep. All right. I'm gonna reload another bolt with the crossbow. Um, aim at that null. Uh, total of 20? Yeah, it is. For, uh... 10 piercing damage. Shot through the head. And both you and Pyro watch as the bolt goes straight through, like, the... the this bit of the knoll. Temple to temple. Yeah. And the knoll just drops. Cool. He had one of those arrow-looking catch for a second there. <laughs> now it's just the goblin left. The goblin stuffy! I imagine he is pretty darn terrified that most of his friends just hit the floor. Oh uh, yeah, he is going to... Two of which got cooked immediately. He's going to disengage and run. No, I'll fucking get back here. In which case... He's going this way. Oh no, if only you had some sort of ranged attack that could rectify this situation. I don't know. Unfortunately, it's not my turn. It's the Fire Mancer. Yeah. The Fire Mancer Paladin. And she is going to run after the Goblin. Probably get about right there. And swing with her glaive. Yeah, and chance. hit and kill it. With de and decapitate it with a glaive. Bunk. Splat. And now there's no more goblins on the thing. No more goblins, no more monsters. Unfortunately, there is a and lot of burning tools. <laughs> now we must get the tools out of the fire and back to the thing. Yeah, so probably gonna try and. Um, just, I don't have anything to dig with. Just try and smother that fire. I don't know how big the fire is. It's, it's a big pile of it's, tools and shit it's, that caught fire because of burning hands. Like, a few sickles and a few scythes have been caught on fire. <laughs> so it's a bit like a campfire. Maybe a little bigger. You gotta try and uh, definitely douse that, um, I think if I can't dig anything up, because I don't have a shovel, um, uh, is there like any, can I pull like loose dirt and try and bury the fire a bit? Like with my hands. Um, <laughs> just knock them over and dump them out. But it's, it, I don't think it's like they're like standing up, right? It's just, it's just lying no, on the they're just, they're just pumped together. Out. Hot I'm, metal bin. I'm not wearing boots. Hot <laughs> oh. Hey, Fluffy. Um, You're resisting the fire, why don't you just stomp him out? Okay. <laughs> Walk over and try to stomp the fire, I guess. <laughs> Which, I don't even know what kind of roll that would be. Uh, well, I mean, it's just... It's just stomping out fire. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna get a survival card. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, you take half damage from... Run, 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 okay. Run, 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 run. I mean, it's probably not it's very a seven. large fire. No, still. It'll, it, it takes the 
a good half hour of stomping on it, getting burned, and throwing oh, dirt on it to yeah, How much get damage it out. do you take from the fire, by the way? That's how much? Because uh, I'm new to DMing. Where's the DMG? It's not here. Yeah. It's not in here. No one brought the DMG. Cool. Um, uh, how intense is the fire? That's a good indicator of how strong, how much damage you're going to take from it. I would assume it's just a fire. Like, normal okay. fire. Okay, well, what, is it like a roaring flame? Is it like mediocre? Campfire. <laughs> okay, well, I've seen campfires get pretty large, almost bonfire size, so... Uh, yeah, it's not quite a bonfire. Like, how but... tall are we talking, flames-wise, like? Foot, half foot, two and a half feet. Like, what about yay tall? That's like two feet. Yeah. Um. So I just literally. It, it would also depend on how much hurt I'd get from jumping on blades. Uh, let's see, I think. Whether or not they're dull. Hold on, we deal with our technical difficulties. Eh, it's not really technical difficulties. Okay, so <laughs> imagine the wall um, severity by level. If, if it's just a setback, probably just one. One d10. For a setback, it's one d10. Or less. Uh, for actual traps. That's for actual traps. Um, let's find. give her like a random small amount of damage because she is resistant to fire. Hey, yeah, probably um considering we're still level one, probably just try one D four okay. for the amount of fire. And then half of that. Yeah, half of one. There you go. So she doesn't really take any damage. Yeah, your thumb being right there is a good way to get it. I forgot that one. Where to find actual like random damage that's not just traps, like improvised damage? Anyway, so we're not really gonna be able to save the wood. And, yeah, uh, no, but we can metal. carry the probably somewhat sharp, maybe a little bit rusted blade. Sharp, rusted, and damaged. Uh, yeah, that's a lot Back of metal. to the thing. Hey, we saved the heads of your tools, but, uh... Yeah. Can you imagine that? They accidentally break... Their kids accidentally break their tools a lot, so... Or at least enough for them to have, like, spare handles. Not that it's difficult to make a spare handle, because that is, like, literally just a branch. Milestone EXP. <laughs> so. Now we're doing milestone? Yeah, it's milestone, but I'm doing it like a specific amount for small. Uh, like, we're not leveling up yet. We're just doing like different. We're completing uh, key uh, points, I guess. Yeah. It's like. Key events. If we hadn't decided to help, which your NPC did for you. Um. Simply because she's, she's, I, I think she's one of the actual lawful ones there, right? Well, I'd have been helping just because it's something yeah. interesting to do that wasn't salt pillar. Yeah. Well, if you hadn't have helped, um, the village would have been raised and the villagers killed and hung as warnings. Okay, so. I, um, <laughs> had no idea. Yeah, that the, um, the lord... When I said use this like an example, 
That's what I meant. <laughs> the Lord is not a nice man. As weird as this symbol is, the Triforce fits it well. <laughs> Three triangles and type formation. Yeah. I imagine it's like a slightly different shape. Um, Probably. Um, well, now that we've completed so, this, I don't have anything else written down. Yeah, um, so... How did we find out that was the punishment? Uh, <laughs> it was just the DM telling the player that. Okay, so Dralisar has no clue. Yeah, no. Okay. But he probably could have assumed that it would not have been a good outcome if they had not gotten their taxes in. Um. Alright, so we got tools back? How much of the tools back? Just the heads, probably. Maybe some charring to, like, some of their handles. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the person who was mentioning maybe uh, sneaking a few off, so... What? How much were you uh, going to try and sneak away? I never said I was going to sneak any of them. Oh, then what were you talking about tools for? Oh, never mind. Um, I was just seeing if any of the farmers still had tools in town. Oh. To, to, just figure if we'd stayed there, still coming back, you know, whoever it was could probably come back for them. Oh, I took that as, okay, I, okay, I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, no, I never said I was going to steal shit from them. I'm a warlock, not a thief. You can, you, you can be a warlock that is a thief, though. They want bad magic memory loss. Isn't that like multi-classing? Wouldn't have to be. <laughs> Imagine the townsfolk aren't going to be too happy that we only recovered the heads of the weapons, though. Not weapons, like, tools. But like, like I was saying when you guys started to look at that, it's you probably assume that uh, they will sometimes accidentally break their weapons, and so have like their tools. Yeah, their tools, but have like they have spare uh, handles for them that they just have to get onto the tools and. Alright. Um, how much damage did we do to the heads of tools, by the way, with all that fire? How long did it take to put out the fire? They're just probably super heated. They're probably, like, slightly dulled now because they got heated and. Is that still recording? Yep. It's been going for 23 minutes. Mm -hmm. Hello, YouTube! <laughs> We ran out of content. Yeah. So, uh, I made a miniature for my dude, but I only made one for mine because I didn't know anyone else's yet. <laughs> kind of I feel kind of bad. Of okay, so. In which case we're heading that way. Next town is in for another few days. In yeah. which case then we're going straight to like By the way. Point. Uh, she